want to spend a little bit of time summarizing uh, just the last few weeks and, uh, and then spend the latter part just uh, kind of speaking of hot sauce, just uh, spicing things up, getting some things to uh, just get us out of ruts, have some fun in our marriages, and uh, just some creative ideas and perhaps brainstorming, or at least get you, set you down a path uh, of thinking about how can we make sure that we are enjoying our, our, our relationship together, our marriage and having fun. Our theme passage in Ecclesiastes chapter four, you know, a cord of three strands, it says in verse nine, two are better than one because they have a good return for their work. If one falls down, his friend can help him. But pity the man who falls and has no one to help him up. Also, if two lie down together, they keep warm, but how can one keep warm alone? Though one may be overpowered, two can defend themselves. A cord of three strands is not quickly broken. You know, I really do believe, and I reflect on my life, there's just no question that I am a better man, a better person, uh, both kind of individually in the sense of, of character, but also a man of God as a result of having Joyce in my life and how she is an incredible helper, support, encouragement, my fan. And, you know, we, we are better, we are better together. <clears throat> and, uh, you know, I, I just, I've had some times and she's had some times in, in our lives where we, one of us falls. You know, I would love to think that our lives are all great mountaintop experiences, but we go the peaks and valleys, we go up and down and, and uh, we're, we're not always up together. One may be up and one may be down. We, you know, maybe both up, but that perhaps doesn't last long. And so I've had times where even this week, uh, <laughs> There was, uh, you know, we were just getting, uh, continuing with our immigration. And on Monday, I submitted some files online. And guess what happened Monday night? The president decided that he would put a, you know, a, uh, a stop on all kind of immigration processing. And I just, I was both mad, frustrated, discouraged, disheartened. And Joyce just said, honey, you know, kind of trust the story, God's, God's got this. And whatever may, may happen, you know, we'll, we'll make our way. And it was just another example of how the, the support, when one falls, one can help the other up. And I've done the same over the years with her. Mm -hmm. You know, if two lie down together, you know, they keep warm. And I, I love to think of any place that I want my I want to find warmth and encouragement and strength and supports and it, it is it is in the marriage and the world's tough mm -hmm. you know you go out to work and there's lots of different challenges and to come home and find that this is the place of rest and peace and and tranquility kind of from the world I want that in in my uh, in my relationship in my marriage and uh, just that we 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 defend one another and the cord having God in our lives, just it strengthens it and supports it. You know, just in, in summary, you know, we've got, to, we've got to set our minds on things above. And I just want to remind us uh, of what that means. You know, it, we, we've got to put on compassion and kindness and in times of, in, of intensity or emotion and that goes on in our lives, whether it be external or whether they be internal through from conflict that we have, we, we've got to remind ourselves to, to think about God, to make sure we're focused on the right things and, and our hearts and our minds are set on, on God. And, and I like this idea of putting on compassion and kindness and, you know, gentleness. You know, the idea, I, I can't remember if I explained it this way, but it, it's, to put on something is, is to, to put it on and, and sink into it. It's like a, you know, I, I've got one of my favorite shirts on right now. It's, it's a nice flannel and it's, it's comfortable. 
And, and what it means to put it on is, is, is you put it on and you begin to sink into the fabric. It becomes a part of you. You're, you're, it begins to take over your, your life and your character. That's what God wants us to, to, to put on with, with godly traits as we focus on him. You know, as we talked about conflict resolution, um, more the idea of reconciliation it is, I think, as Melanie shared, a lot of the things that we talked about are, were basic, they're, they're basic Christianity, discipleship, the heart of Jesus, the Sermon on the Mount, to where do we, who do we focus on, the other person, or do we focus on ourselves? God always wants us to look at ourselves first, and again, that's tough <laughs> when it comes to, to marriage. We may have felt that the other person has hurt us and hindered us more than, uh, than we have them. And so, but we've got to, we've got to, first of all, take the initiative. We've, we've got to look at ourselves. We've got to confess our part specifically. The, the, say the same thing as we would say to God, forgive me for. Uh, and, and, and that's what we've got to do with our, with our spouse. And, and we've got to listen to the hurt. A lot of times our, our conflicts our difficulties come from pain that we are experiencing. Um, again, when you're 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 discouraged, disheartened, there's things going on. You know your your emotions can be raw, and we 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 respond in kind. And so we've got to be able to 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 listen to the hurt in one another. Mm -hmm. And not everything is done just <clears throat> vindictively. It, there's some pain that is that is a result. And consider their perspective. I mean, just like Jesus, you know, flip the switch, make sure that I'm focusing on them. And to, you know, to tell the truth tactfully. It's, you know, I shared last week, you know, we can tell the truth, but do we do it with wholesomeness? Do we do it with kindness? And there are, you know, I think Tony shared as we were summarizing, you know, Jesus was just incredible. Uh, he, 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 he could have just blasted people with truth. He spoke with tenderness and he spoke to meet need. And, and so, and then lastly, remember to focus on reconciliation, not just resolving. I mean, making peace is not simply about having no bullets and no bombs. It really is about bringing shalom and wholeness and completeness and bringing us back together as one flesh in unity as, as, in, in our, in our marriages. Um, I, I don't know if you've done this, but I have, uh, I have at times and I'm, I'm, I'm really thinking of, well, I'm going to do this this week. Um, you've heard the parable of the talents or the parable of the bags of gold, um, the trusts that so you, if you can use that word, I, I find that, I'm more successful in life, in all areas of my life, when I take some time and focus on the trusts and the bags of gold that God has given me. And so I, I, I won't go through all of them, but uh, you know, the, the first trust as Christians that we have, the bag of gold that we have is our relationship with God. Tony and Melanie are talking about grace. We have been given grace. How is that grace and that forgiveness and that relationship with God meant to, how are we meant to grow? So as you reflect on, on a week, think on, let's say it's Sunday or Monday, how is that bag of gold, that, that, that relationship with God going to go from one to two? How can I grow it? Maybe it is uh, studying out grace, as Tony and Melanie have, have been sharing. Maybe I'm, I look deeper at it. How can I have a deeper appreciation and be moved? Secondly, I have my relationship with, with Joyce. I have my, my wife. How can I and will I grow in that relationship? And we're going to talk later on in just a few minutes about some creative ways. How can we make sure that bag of gold, that, that trust can grow? And so in the areas of, if you're a parent, if you have a job, obviously those are the bags of gold. And sitting down and having some time to just focus, how can I how can I change these things and grow this week? Really has a tremendous impact on my productivity and really how I see my week. I'm often, I'm, I'm, I, I have a sense of satisfaction when I look back at a week and perhaps even more so during some time. I know some of you are, are extremely busy, 
and 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 some are are, are less but to look back, how can I grow in areas of my life? And so I just wanted to share that. It, it's been very helpful for me to, 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 to do that. And in particular, in those areas of my life that I really want to bring about some change. What we're gonna do right now is uh, something a little, a little different. So we're going to read something that perhaps you haven't read in a long time, or the, uh, or sang, or, sang, <laughs> or uh, have wondered about its wording. So we're going to read something. You can uh, close your eyes. You can watch. You can listen. Uh, I think we're flipping a switch here. How do we? How do we bring some, some excitement? How do we bring some? So how do we break mon uh, the, you know, the, the monotous, what's the word? Monotony. Monotony. <laughs> <laughs> the monotony of, of, of life, or the groundhog days perhaps that some are feeling. But, uh, and this is from the Song of Songs and it's a uh, contemporary version. So listen and uh, just allow the, the words and the, the poem to, to fill you. Get ready, here we go. Kiss me tenderly, your love is better than wine and you smell so sweet. Hurry, my king, let's hurry. Take me to your home. Young women of Jerusalem, it is only right that you should adore him. My darling, I love you. Earrings add to your beauty and you wear a necklace of precious <laughs> stones. Let's, let's make you some jewelry of gold woven with silver. My king, while you were on your couch, my love was a magic charm. My darling, you're lovely. So very lovely. Your eyes are those of a dove. My love, you are handsome, truly handsome. The fresh green grass will be our wedding bed. My darling, when compared with the other young women, you are a lily among thorns. You led me to your banquet room and showered me with love. Refresh and strengthen me with raisins and apples. I'm hungry for love. Put your left hand under my head and embrace me with your right arm. My darling, I love you. Let's go away together. Winter's past, the rain has stopped, flowers cover the earth. It's, it's time to sing. My darling, I love you. Let's go away together. Let me see how lovely you are. Let me hear the sound of your melodious voice. Our vineyards are in blossom. We must catch the little foxes that destroy the vineyards. My darling, I am yours and you are mine. My darling, you are lovely, so very lovely. As you look through your veil, your eyes are like those of a dove. Your hair tosses about gracefully. My darling, you are lovely in every way. My bride, my very own, stolen my heart with one glance from your eyes and the glow of your necklace you've stolen my heart young women of jerusalem if you find the one i love please say to him she's weak with desire and then my friends say most beautiful of women why is the one you love more special than others why do you ask us to tell him how you feel well he is handsome and healthy, the most outstanding among 10,000. His head is purest gold, his hair once wavy, black as a raven. His Long kisses are sweet, I desire him so much. Young women of Jerusalem, he is my lover and friend. I am his and he is mine. My dearest, your charms are more powerful than all the stars in the heavens. Turn away your eyes, they make me melt. Ooh. You're my only choice, my flawless <laughs> dove. The young women, the queens and all others, tell how excited you are as they sing your praises. You are majestic as the morning sky, glorious as the moon, blinding as the sun. Your charms are more powerful than all the stars above. You are a princess and your feet are graceful in their sandals. Your neck is like ivory and your eyes sparkle, your head is held high, your hair is so lovely, it holds a king prisoner. 
You are beautiful, so very desirable. Kissing you is more delicious than drinking the finest wine. How wonderful and tasty. My darling, I am yours and you desire me. Let's stroll through the fields and sleep in the villages. At dawn, let's slip out and see its fruit trees if they're covered with blossoms. When we are there, I will give you my love. Perfume from the magic flower fills the air, my darling. Right at our doorstep, I have stored up for you all kinds of tasty fruits. Young women of Jerusalem, promise me never to awaken love before it is ready. Always keep me in your heart and wear this bracelet to remember me by. The passion of love bursting into flame is more powerful than death, stronger than the grave. Love cannot be drowned by oceans or floods. It cannot be bought, no matter what is offered. A love song, song of songs. You know, many people over, over kind of the centuries have, have tried to allegorize what it is and is it the is it the church <laughs> you could certainly make some analogies there of, of, of christ and the you know and us as the bride but it's a love song it, it, it's 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 poetry i mean you hear the you hear the passion and and i, I we can't relate i tried to get a contemporary version and and you know that would translate you know goats and <laughs> and 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 Gazelle. and you know yeah gazelles and 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 doves and may not be the words that we would use today but i think you still capture kind of the romance and, and just the the innocence and, and purity that uh, that 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 you see in this in this song and we all love lo love songs and uh, perhaps you have your your favorite ones in your marriage ones that you when you on your wedding day that you had played that that meant a lot to you and over years sometimes all of that 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 kind of simplicity and innocence and and spark and we get into ruts and we we fail to kind of think and dream and 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 we just kind of go through life and I think our marriages, I want my marriage to, to, to have some, some vibrance. I want it to be, I want it to be fun. I want us to enjoy our, our times together. I, I want the, the longer we're married, I don't want it to, 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 to grow distant. I want us to grow closer. And Christ talks about intimacy, or Paul talks about intimacy, one flesh. That's a coming together. That's a completeness. I want that in every way in emotional, physical intimacy, all of those things. That's, that's what this is, is describing. And so what we're going to do right now is, is kind of brainstorm or talk about uh, some ideas that you can have to just bring some refreshment to your, uh, to your marriage. And you can do this, what we'll talk about in, in many different ways. Um, are you gonna share about some different ways? To, or? Mm -hmm. Okay. But I was also going to share this other sure. love note. Okay. Yep. Um, yeah. Before um, we can share some ideas and maybe some, you know, hints of things that you could try and do, I wanted to read you um, the part of a, a love note um, that a husband wrote to his wife. And it was from just, you know, our present time, just a few weeks ago. Um, so we've read the Song of Songs or Solomon. Um, and here's one from um, a man named Jonathan. He said, I love you guys with all my heart and you've given me the best life I could have ever asked for. I am so lucky. It makes me so proud to be your husband and the father to Braden and Penny. Katie, you are the most beautiful, caring, nurturing person I've ever met. You are truly one of a kind. Make sure you live with happiness and that same passion that made me fall in love with you. Seeing you be the best mom to the kids is the greatest thing I've ever experienced. You know, it was a modern love note, but in a very sad, sobering note, 
This was the last note a wife received on her husband's phone this week. He died on two, Wednesday from COVID and he was 32 years old. I share that more to go, none of us know our days. Our days are numbered, sure. but how she was shocked to find it. It was the last, from the last day they'd actually talked and it says that's when it was written on the phone. Um, you know, and I share that more from, we can assume that we have many more days to bring joy or gratitude or expressions of love and thanksgiving to one another, but to just realize, um, you know, every day is a gift. Mm -hmm. And, you know, with, with trying to deal with reality and, you know, equipping ourselves with spiritual tools to help us through the bumps and the difficulties, there's also great resources, um, you know, to be able to do some fun things together. And um, so picking up from the Song of Songs, um, I've just listed a few things. Sean may have a few things that he's added, but ideas of doing something similar. Um, one time I actually did take the Song of Songs and picked out um, 12 different things uh, because I gave it as different gifts to Sean on the 12 days of Christmas. So I used that song. So I thought maybe you could call something seven days of COVID and then pick out seven different things and use that as your motivation. Um, another thing that we've um, done and you know, every once in a while we'll do is, is maybe just putting little notes throughout the house, um, throughout you know, ways, places where it's not just obvious um, but so like, maybe you could stick a little note on the mirror. Um, so when they get up in the morning, that might be what they see. Or perhaps, um, you know, in a dresser drawer or, you know, a, a cup that someone pulls out for coffee and then there in the, in the cup is a note. Maybe in the fridge. Um, you know, we've done that in the past with our kids and a lot of you have kids at home. We would do it in their lunchbox, just a little thinking of you, love you. Um, and I think, you know, even having the heart of a child, like Jesus says, you know, the, the heart of a child is incredible. Um, it's innocent. And um, I, I brought a few things just as an example. Most of you know, we're living with Howard and Karen and Eric literally showers us with homemade gifts all the time um, for them or for us. But he, my birthday was at the end of March and he literally, I think this is called a, a cootie, cootie catcher, catcher. <laughs> but he spent hours making this bird cootie catcher and he used his 3D pen and made me this um, book bookmark, um, quite exquisite with a flower on it. He's drawn me pictures. He's done things for Mr. Sean, but I only show those to say this is coming from the heart of a child. And sometimes I think in our marriages, we, you know, we're like, ah, I'm over that. I'm not a kid anymore. And yet Jesus elevated the heart of yeah, a child. And so doing things that make us, you know, feel like we're being a kid at heart. Um, some other things, let me see. Um, oh, we have this jar back in Pittsburgh um, that, we actually, I think, um, a bunch of us girls got together and did this first. But so these are just some ideas, but taking popsicle sticks or you could even cut up pieces of paper or um, like sticky notes and put it on a paper or poster board, but have, have it coded in colors like um, for what the date would cost. So maybe, you know, the top of the popsicle stick or the paper or the sticky note is blue. And then all of those ideas that you can pull out of that jar are like inexpensive, like cost nothing or very inexpensive to do. So in our time right now, you could have a picnic um, in your living room. You could wait till the kids are gone to bed and have a, a you know, more of a romantic dinner together. Um, you could, um, you know, rent a, a, a Netflix movie or 
Amazon or something that you know you you actually may have to pay a little bit for but just on these sticks you could have your inexpensive your kind of little medium expensive then maybe the ones that are going to cost a little bit more you leave it in the jar and you can you know draw those out but the for later when we can stop totally social distancing but just some ideas like that um you know that that is going to be long term um not just alone for this week uh, let me see what else i have uh you could do like um you know after the kids are done you could do a romantic dinner date and dress up rather than right. staying in my you know, workout clothes and, and scrubs in Sean's favorite <laughs> flannel shirt. Um, but, you know, you could dress up and make it super romantic. Um, but we kind of take that away just because of the situation that we're in. Uh, let me see. Oh, and one time I did use the Song of Songs. I, I didn't re rewrite the whole thing, but I, I did write it in you know, our vernacular. And then I use things like rather than, um, you know, the Mount of Hernan, you could use Mount Tremblant, or it's, it says something like the Tower of David. And I remember writing the tower, uh, uh, the CN Tower. There's ways you can go find, there's all kinds of poems. I mean, just Google. And one thing I did, um, I Googled, what's the name of it? Oh, I just Googled in romance ideas in COVID. <laughs> And then it, yeah. there's like five or six websites that just list all these, you know, just go on them and they're from all over the world. But, you know, some of us, we have a harder time maybe thinking what to do or, you know, we don't want to be as vulnerable. Um, but it does give, it really, it does give some ideas. Um, let me see if there's anything else. I think that's pretty much... Um, yeah, awesome. even sending texts, things like that. There's little things, um, but yeah, that's what I have done. Awesome. You know, I think we, we've done uh, some things in the, in the past where we have just, like she said, some people call it a love jar, uh, you know, where you just put ideas. They could be passes or certain things that, uh, that that other person gets to to have or do. Um, and so you can you can put them in a hat or a jar and you pull them out and it's a surprise. It's and a massage. It's a massage, yes. Or it's uh, you you decide to cook dinner. Tony learned to cook uh, and, uh, you know, made, uh, what was it, curried chicken? Is that what it was? Yeah, yes. curried chicken. Um, <laughs> so who knows? Maybe you do a special, a special dinner. Um, it, it's... Again, the whole idea, make a, I mean, I remember making a special pie with a oh. big, big heart on top of it with the, 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 uh, the crust. Um, it's just, it's just trying to be creative. <laughs> you wrote on the crust. Uh, yeah, I wrote, wrote on the crust with it. Um, I have started, and I, I'm, I'm being vulnerable here. I've started doing yoga. And <laughs> I, let me just say. That, that is something that I would never, ever say that I would do. But, uh, you know, it's, it's actually helped my body. I, it's, it's surprisingly, again, I've been a skeptic all my life. I'm like, no, no, but it, it's helped. But Joyce and I have talked about maybe we can do that together. Um, she just has to put up with this. In, in yoga, you've got to learn, you've got to learn to breathe. I can't breathe when I'm in certain positions. It's like, ah! <laughs> but you know, do something together. I think that's that's the point. Virtual tours, go on a date. I mean, there's oh, lots cool. of things you can you can you can go through. I'm not sure all Museum. of them. Smithsonian, the the museums. The you can go through any who is architect. Frank Lloyd Wright's homes right now. If you're into that, um, and you know, there's just so many ideas that uh, read a book together, um, you know, love languages is, is, a, is a good book, play games together, write poems. If you're, if you can't, uh, you know, if, to some to write a poem might be really difficult to, to think of, but, you know, find your favorite one and, and read it or write it down. And, and the whole idea is, is just to be creative, to, to, to get out of ruts. And I would say, I think it's, 
especially important during this time in our lives to just to, to make sure, mm -hmm. you know, this, this is, we're in this together. We're better together. Mm -hmm. we, 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 we're, we're this cord that is wrapped tight and the world right now might be trying to unwind it, but I'm going to, I'm, with all of our energy and our working together and all of God's, we're going to wrap this thing back mm -hmm. and we're going to make it what God wants it to be. So we just, share one thing. yeah, absolutely. I, I just, just, I was go just going to add, um, I remember, but I couldn't see it in my notes is, um, those of you with kids at home, it is so important for them to see you showering each other with attention, with appropriate attention. Um, but they, you are modeling for them how to treat your spouse and how to express love and gratitude. And it's so cute. There's, you know, been several times, depending on what's happening in the house, and Eric will go, ooh, romance. <laughs> <laughs> or we're watching all upstairs something on the TV and he's like, ooh, romance. Um, but it's just, it's so important because we want them, you know, we want our children to yeah. know how to, um, you know, be, be a, a, a husband or to be a wife and to be expressive and how to treat a woman and how to, um, as a woman, how to, you know, accept or initiate yourself. Um, so anyway, I just wanted to add that it is important for our kids. Amen. I, you know, and our point here is not to try to overwhelm us with, with one more thing to do. And, and, and to some, you may be able to run and do several. To, to others, it might just be simply trying to pick, pick one thing. Mm -hmm. just, just do something special this week pick one thing don't don't worry about kind of all the the oh i need to create a chart for the next <laughs> however long the, again, the point just is, ideas <laughs> just yeah be creative sit down and think about what would be fun what would be what would you like to do what what could we do together and it, it's just again to to break some of the the monotony that happens and the routines and and just to learn to just love life um, I think I shared it with when it, when it, even when it comes to conflict, uh, I, I, I want it I want it to be reconciled and resolved. You know, one of the greatest reasons I just want to move on and be happy. <laughs> I just I don't like being I don't like being stuck. Uh, I I, wa I want my life to 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 have some happiness and fulfillment. So anyway, I hope this is is helped get some things going, get us uh, just having some fun and enjoying our, our marriages and, and just doing some things special. Any thoughts, comments? You can throw some ideas out or any, any you know, just anyone.